Hello, okay, this is switch number 22. This is also a blue screen and uh, not play games. Well, if it has a blue screen, it will not play games probably. And when I turn it on, it's a blue screen. And uh, let's see just for fun what it takes. What kind of charge it takes. Let's hook this up to the right. Cable. Zero point of oh four. Well. Uh, this actually will go to RCM mode, but uh, it will not run Hecate. It will run the test file. It will show that that uh, it can be patched. It's successful. 0 0.16. Um, so that's the Fusey test bin. I'm gonna plug it in now. I have the, the switch in RCM mode here, and I'm gonna plug this in. It's a little hard with one hand. Okay and uh, installing driver and it says RCM OK. And now when I push inject payload, you will see on the screen. So it looks bad, but you can clearly see that it's a success and it comes down. And um, okay. And if I try to run the Hecate file, all right, we are RCM OK. And here's the Hecate. Let's see what happens. It says OK on the on the screen here that it actually have pushed it there, but nothing on the screen. And uh, well, this is most likely a, a most likely a bricked console. So. I won't be able to fix this, I, I think. But what I will do is uh, I'm gonna change to a new screen so at least we can get the screen lines off and see if it works then. You never know. So I have made progress, which is excellent. I got this blue screen, all right. And I found out that uh, when I injected, as you saw earlier, I had distorted uh, screen. Let's, uh, it was this one. Yeah, all right. Okay, so now we need to put this into, yeah. Let's, let's put it into, into RCM mode. Let's hook it up. And, uh, and uh, RCM OK. And let's inject the payload. Well, now we got this. I just thought that, OK, if I can figure out what this problem is. It's not the screen error because the screen is healthy. I tested it with a healthy screen, same thing, and I tested um, this screen with a healthy switch, so everything is okay. But if I press, if I press here, right on this chip, see what happens. Okay, did you see that? The screen went away, and now. Let's remove this, let's remove this, let's turn it off. Okay, let's put it back. And uh, let's go to the table, because I need both my hands.
All right. Now I'm gonna press here and boot it. And we should see a blue screen, shouldn't we? Yeah, okay, let's do it again. The problem is that I want, I don't wanna press too hard uh, on this screen and we'll break the screen. Go a little bit higher. Let's put two fingers down there. And let's really press it somehow. Okay. Let's see. And uh, yeah. Did you see that? You see what happens. It does turn on. We know now, at least on this switch, that the blue screen is because of this chip that I'm pressing. And now I will let go. And we got a distorted screen. So, what I'm gonna do is remove the shield. And uh, the best thing would be to clean it. Maybe I should remove this. Maybe I should remove the, the screen and clean it. Oh, this shielding. The shielding I have to remove. Okay, so I removed it and uh, let's clean a little bit around here. This alcohol will be will evaporate when when we're done or before we even start. So this is mainly the chip that I'm going to be blasting. The right thing would be to to. Remove it and, and solder it on again, but I don't have that equipment to do that. I can't do it. This is not the right fix. But it's the only one I can do at the moment. Well, I'm gonna remove all this later. Okay, now we're gonna tape it. Hopefully this works. I really need one more switch. Fixed, otherwise I, I'm doomed. <laughs> However, well, what are we, 340? Let's hit the board a little bit from a distance. We're gonna heat it with uh, something like 370, 380 for at quite some time. All right, getting close to where I'm happy. Yeah. So, did we destroy anything? No, no. I see no plastic destroyed at the moment. Now we're gonna have to let it cool. Get back to you. I take away the plastic and then we test it. Right. Oh boy. Took away the plastic. Hooked it up. The essentials, the screen, power button, backlight. Will we see a blue screen or not? Yeah, a blue screen. Damn it. Let's press on that chip a little bit. And see. So I found out that it's up, up in this corner here. It's up here. If I press on any other place, not this chip won't do anything, but if I press down here, nothing happens. And uh, remove this chip, chip totally, since uh, there's probably nothing I can do anyway with this. So let's just go for it. Let's remove it. 
I measured a couple of caps here and, and uh, under this chip here and these were shortened. So we'll see by removing this if I can get a rid of that short. And uh, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be so cool. And uh, yeah. Okay. How does it? Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's tape it right there. Four sixty five. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, I need a little bit more space here. Let's get rid of the microscope. And yes, all right. So let's heat up the board a little bit and then we go for it. And this is going to be quite sick, but board eighty seven, okay. A little high on the temp, but we're preheating the board. All right, now we're good. Yeah, and it takes really long remove this. Also there are two caps that I can't mess around with so when it starts to move I'm just gonna push it a little bit to the this side and then I'm just gonna lift it up. This poor board has gone through so much that uh, I feel really sorry for it, but hey, it's not working. And uh, okay, it's moving. Let's grab it. Damn it, it's so hot. Okay, now we see what's happening here. Okay, let's let it cool and then we check did I move any of those resistors or caps or whatever they are on the side and then we're gonna check what, how that looks like. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. 